Today, I'm going to be bringing you the story that is called Lost in a Fairy Tale. So let's begin. Once upon a time, there was a little girl named Goldilocks. Oh, I know what you're thinking. You think you're going to hear about her adventures with the three bears. But you're wrong. This adventure starts where the old one left off. Goldilocks has just escaped from the house of the three bears. Here she comes now, racing through the woods, lickety split. Help! 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 What's the matter, Goldilocks? Three grouchy bears are about to get me. Help! There's no one chasing you, Goldilocks. There's no one coming. Oh, by gummy, you're right. Well, that was a lucky escape. Now, I guess I'd better go home. That sounds like a splendid idea, dear. Do you know where home is? Oh, sure. It's this way. Um, or maybe it's that way? Oh, no. I don't know which way to go. I'm lost. Goldilocks, you might as well dry your eyes. Crying won't help. <laughs> but what am I to do? Where am I to go? <laughs> well, since you ask, I suggest you stop running and start walking. Perhaps you will meet someone who will give you directions along the way. I hope you're right. I do want to get home. Then I think you should continue slowly down this path and see what happens. I might as well. I have to find my way home somehow. Oh dear me, the path forks here. Which way should I go? The fork to the right goes one way uphill and the fork to the left goes downhill. Oh, I'm so tired from all that running that I think downhill is the best. Someone's coming. <gasps> Why, it's a little girl just like me. I wonder who she is. Tra-la-la, tra-la-la. Oh, hi. Who are you? And what are you doing here in the woods? My name is Goldilocks, and I'm lost. Who are you? I'm called Little Red Riding Hood. I bet you already guess. Oh, I imagine I kind of guess because of that gorgeous red cloak that you're wearing. My, it's beautiful. Right you are. This outfit was a gift from my dear granny, but you still haven't told me why you're wandering lost in the woods. Well, it's quite a story. I was taking a walk in the woods near my house when I came upon a pretty little cottage. No one was home at the time. So I went inside to look around. It wasn't till later that I learned that the place belonged to a family of bears. I just happened to be taking a little nap in one of the beds when they came in. The mama, the papa, and the baby. And were they ever mad? Well, maybe I shouldn't have eaten their porridge or sat in their chairs or laying in their beds. But that was no reason for them to get so huffy. What a bunch of grumps. With good reason, I'd say. You did all of that in their house? Uh, anyway, I decided I better get out of there fast. I hope I don't meet any other bears in the woods.
Oh, Goldilocks, it isn't the bears you have to watch out for. It's the wolves. What just happened to me is much, much worse. I was delivering a basket of goodies to my poor sick granny who lives not far from here. And when I got to her house, I found that a wicked wolf had swallowed her whole. And guess what? Then he wanted me for dessert. Oh, can you believe it, Goldilocks? How awful. How did you ever manage to escape? A huntsman happened to be walking in the woods. Lucky for me, he heard me screaming and he came in to save me. Oh, now I'm more frightened than ever. First bears and now wolves. I'm afraid I'll never get home. Don't worry. You'll be all right as long as you stick to the path. Well, I'm sorry, but I have to leave now. I hope you find your way home. All right, bye, Goldilocks, bye. Oh, so do I go th this way? Do I go that way? Somehow, I'm, somehow I feel I'm headed the wrong way. I think perhaps I should go back and take the other fork in the road. Here it is. Oh, yes, here it is. I sure hope this is the right direction out of this scary place. <gasps> Do I see someone coming? Yes, it's a boy and a girl. Maybe they can help me get out of here. Hello, little girl. Hello to you. My name is Goldilocks, and I'm lost. Can you tell me how to get out of the woods? We're lost, too. My name is Hansel, and this is my sister Gretel. We have just escaped from a wicked witch who was planning to eat us. Why, that's terrible. I've just had a lucky escape, too. The three bears were a bit grouchy, but I don't think they were planning to eat me. Did you say you were lost too? You don't seem a bit worried about getting home. We know we'll find our way sooner or later. And meanwhile, we had plenty to eat. Would you like some gingerbread or candy? The witch's house was made of gingerbread and luscious things. We took some when we left her house. Usually, I... Wouldn't say no to gingerbread or candy, but not long ago, I polished off a bowl of porridge. Now all I want to do is get home. Do you want to come with us, Goldilocks? We're going this way. No, thanks. I just came from there. I think I better continue the way I'm headed. Okay, goodbye then. Bye, Goldilocks. Goodbye. Goodbye, Hansel. Goodbye, Gretel. Huh, maybe I should have gone with them. I'd better stop for a while and think about what I'm going to do. I'll just sit right here and rest a bit. I hope I find my way home soon. My goodness, my goodness, I hear something. I hear somebody coming and they're coming quick. Should I hide? <laughs> gingerbread man. I am, I am. I've run away from a little old woman and a little old man and a cow and a horse and a barn full of threshers and a field full of mowers and I can run away from you. I can, I can. Don't be so silly. I'm not going to chase you. What? Do you mean you don't want to eat me? No, I'm not at all interested in eating you. I'm certainly glad to hear that. Oh no, here they come. They're all chasing me again. I'm, I must get back on track and twist to the left and twist to the right. That will fool them for sure. Silly old cookie, he'll end up in somebody's tummy. And that's a fact. And I'm beginning to think I'll end up here lost in the woods forever. <laughs> What's the matter, little girl?
Why are you crying? I'm afraid. I'm never going to find my way out of the woods. Tell me, who are you, little girl? And where do you live? Maybe I can help you. I am Goldilocks, and if I knew where I live, I wouldn't be crying. But who are you? Or should I say, what are you? Who sounds more polite? I am the third little pig and the last. Whatever do you mean? Perhaps you've heard of the story called The Three Little Pigs. Uh, yes, that sounds familiar. Wasn't there a big bad wolf in that story? Indeed, yes. But I outwitted him in the end. I am the one who had the sense to build his house out of bricks. Now I remember. The old wolf huffed and puffed, but he couldn't blow down your house, so you never got to get eaten up. And he couldn't trick me into letting him in either. The old rascal tried, but I said no, not by the hair on my chinny chin chin. You don't happen to know Little Red Riding Hood, do you? Can't say I've had the pleasure to meet her. Oh, well, it must have been a different wolf then. But never mind about that. How do you happen to be in the woods and how can you help me? I was gathering some acorns. I dearly love acorns. Would you like one? No thanks. What I'd like is for you to explain how you can help me get out of the woods. I need all the help I can get. Well, I can't take you to your own front door, but I can at least lead you out of the woods. Oh, thank you, Mr. Pig. That would be wonderful. All right then, follow me and we'll be out of the here in no time. I'm coming, I'm coming. See, I told you so. A few simple turns and we are in the countryside. Oh, what a relief. Seeing nothing but dark gloomy trees was beginning to depress me. I'm glad I could help Goldilocks. Now I still have to fill my bag with acorns, so I'll say goodbye to you. Goodbye, Mr. Pig, and thanks again. I'm glad to be out of the woods at last, <sighs> but I still have no idea where home is. I'm so miserable. <laughs>
Then listen carefully. You must bow your head and cover your eyes with your hands. Like this, like this? That's right. Now stand very still and I will count slowly to three. And then you may open your eyes. Are you ready? Yes, Fairy Godmother, I'm ready. Then one, two, three, poof. Oh, she's gone. But, but, I see my house. I see my house. I'm home. I'm home at last. I'm home. Yay! And there goes Goldilocks through the garden gate over the path and into her house. I'm sure you'll agree that she had enough excitement for one day. And now you know what happened after her adventure with the three bears. Well, friends, I do hope that you've enjoyed our puppet story time today. Until next time, bye!